On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, working with text in ProPresenter 6. Hi, and welcome again to the churchtechcast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I tell you about using uh, software in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and I'm your host. I'd love for you to join the conversation, by the way. So why don't you do that by heading over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact, or just leaving your question below the video. That's fine, too. So... A lot of people are new to ProPresenter 6, so I thought it might be worth revisiting just some of the fundamentals and going through that. So we're going to start at the very beginning with creating songs and doing text and just move on through the features. So uh, let's head over to my computer and take a look at that. So if you saw the last video where I talked about our first presentation, Basically what I did was I created a playlist and then I edited each slide and t I typed in the lyrics one at a time. Now, you might be thinking, that seems like a lot of work. And you'd be right. There are more ways to do this. So let's uh, talk about some of the other ways of working with text. So. Probably my personal favorite way is actually pretty simple. So I go to File, Import, and then Import File. So from there, let's see if I've got a song file that will work for this. Okay, let's look in Documents really doesn't matter what I'm choosing here, so I might not pick one that's, that's necessarily the best, but let's see here. Um, okay, here's a document I created a while back. This is just different ideas for shows, but we'll import it just so that you can tell what happens. Now, immediately, you'll see that I've got a couple of choices. First off, slides delimited by. This means what is the indication to ProPresenter that I want to start a new slide. Normally I do a paragraph uh, break and say that there's only one paragraph break per slide. I could also do a line break and I could do one line break per slide or I could do two if I wanted two lines. Let's actually do that. Um, then I've got the size that I can deal with. I could put this in. Let's say this is speaker notes just because it's going to be less like a uh, song and more like speaker notes. The template, I can choose whichever one I'd like here. And now I've got library, selected playlist or new playlist. So I can create a new playlist with this if this is the very first thing. I don't have to create a new playlist then import it. Or I've already got one, let's work with that. If I chose library only, it would just go over here. I'd have to look for it. So let's stick with selected playlist and click import. And that should do it. So now I go back and we'll see that we have all these and they're basically already done. So this is the way that I would have the pastor do it. Just create a text file, simple text file uh, with uh, a paragraph break if I wanted to use the paragraph break delimiter or line break if I wanted to do line break delimiter for each and every slide. So a lot of times pastors will want to help and so they will go through the trouble of making a PowerPoint presentation. Let me suggest to you that that is one, something your pastor shouldn't be doing, and two, not as much helpful to you as the simple act of having a uh, just 
basically this, this very, very simple text file that you can real, really quickly bring in to ProPresenter. So that's my favorite way of doing it, but it's not the only way. So let's go back up to File and go to Import and Text Copied from Clipboard. So what I could do with that is I could find some text, let's say it's in a Word file, let's say it's uh, on the web, if let's say there was a public domain song that I wanted to bring in, uh, maybe I wanted to bring in Amazing Grace, for example. So I could, uh, let me just pop over here to Chrome, and I'm going to create a new window, and then I'll bring it back over here so that you can see what I'm doing. So, let's say that I'm doing Amazing Grace. And may, I think I've got too many things going on here at once. Amazing Grace. Lyrics. Okay, so I do my search for this, and um, I think the lyrics edition is really nice. You can also put quotation marks around the song title in case there's something similar with uh, the same words. Uh, that can sometimes happen. Um, you might even include the artist name, etc. So, let's just go ahead and we'll go to Lyrics Freak. That's a, a place that often has lyrics. I could also go down here to hymnary.org. That's probably even a better choice for uh, a public domain hymn, but just to show you. Okay, so see here that we have the for real lyrics to Amazing Grace. So what I can do here is just copy these. And let's say I only need the first two verses. So now I can do Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC to copy. And we see that it, in Chrome, it, in OS X, it highlighted that. So now I should be able to go down there and go back to ProPresenter and import, import text from Clipboard. So let's see if this does it. Again, let's do two line breaks. So. If I did a paragraph break, I get four lines. If I do two line breaks, I think I'm going to get two lines, which is actually what I tend to use at my church. So it's a little bit of artistic choice on this. Uh, we used to use four. I think six is too much. Eight is way too much. The eye gets lost. Two is fine. One is not quite enough. So typically we stick to two. So let's try that. And uh, instead of speaker notes, let's make that a song. So we can do that and again import that into the select playlist. Bada bing, bada boom, ka chunk. And there we go. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear. And grace, my fears relieved. How precious. Did that grace appear the hour I first believed? So you can see how that really quickly you can get a song up and running in ProPresenter. But that's not the only way. Let's see if we can go to Song Select. So I am not actually uh, signed into this. So we won't go all the way through. Um, um, but where is Song Select? I knew it was there. And there's a keyboard shortcut for it as well. So basically what you can do is 
you can do a search here. Um, or whatever you want. I doubt this is going to let me do it because, as I say, I am not actually signed in. So you'll see there's the login up here, and I myself do not know the login because I don't do this particular piece. But basically, you log in. Song Select is a service that you subscribe to through CCLI. So same people, and they keep the lyrics on file and all sorts of good stuff. This is a little bit better because you're not going to get secular songs in Song Select. You're only going to get Christian songs. So there are some titles that can go either way. You know, He Loves Me. Could be Christian, could be secular. Maybe it's a Motown song from the 60s. Maybe it's Jesus Culture. Who knows? Well, if you're searching in Song Select, you're going to get the Jesus Culture version. So, um, I said He Loves Me, it could be He Loves Us is the actual title. Anyway, so that's just stuff uh, for you to consider. That's the third way. The fourth way is to uh, import from Planning Center Online. Now, this actually doesn't necessarily import the lyrics unless they're attached in Planning Center, so I'm not going to actually show you how to do this. I'll have a separate one where we go through pan, uh, Planning Center integration. But this is part of why worship software, whether it's ProPresenter or Proclaim or Media Shout or whatever, are just better for churches. Uh, back in the day, I used PowerPoint, we all did, and the worship leader would call up a song last minute or there'd be a change or the pastor would go long or the invitation would go long and we were just out of luck. It was just very difficult to bring in the appropriate song. Whereas this, if it's not in here, I can actually even do a web search and get it really fast. So that's the basics for working with lyrics and slides with words in ProPresenter 6. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that that was uh, something that maybe you were curious about other ways of adding text into ProPresenter. Maybe you just hadn't done it before. Well, whatever the reason, I hope that that was something that uh, just will make it easier on you, maybe free you up to do some ministry. Speaking of uh, being freed up. You should know that I have a free email newsletter that I send out every week, sometimes a little bit more often, sometimes a little bit less, and I'd love for you to join me with it. So just head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and there I have some great church tech resources, so you can just sign up there and get uh a copy of my free email newsletter along with one of those gifts. Speaking of which, I really, really, the reason that I'm doing all this, let me let you in on a little secret. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to free you up. I want to free up your time and I want to increase your effectiveness. And I don't think those are mutually exclusive. So, Head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store, and there you'll see some resources I've created with you in mind. So uh, I'm adding new things all the time. The store is actually fairly new, even though I've been doing this for a few years. And I think that you'll find something that will free up some time or increase your effectiveness or maybe even both. So head over there and pick up one of those things. Until next time. This is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.